Hey guys, I'm back to make another video. So, I'm doing another makeup tutorial today, but first of all, I dyed my hair, just in case anyone was wondering why it looks different. Uh, I did the bangs purple and I'm very blonde on top now, and all of the underneath is purple as well. Other than a few strands of teal that are left from before because my hair really likes the color teal for some reason and it doesn't really come out. So my hairdresser figured it would be kind of pointless to try and bleach it out. So because I was doing purple we just kind of left it. And it looks pretty cool so yeah. Firstly. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyways this is going to be another makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy and if you do please give this video a like. Thanks. Alright, so this look is kind of inspired, like it's kind of almost the same as um, a photo I just posted on Instagram on my, um, one on my makeup and one on my normal Instagram, so I'm kind of going off of that, but I think it's going to end up being a little bit different just because it always is, but if you guys want to see the photo, the links to my Instagram and stuff will be in the description if you want to follow me, because I will follow you back. You guys want to guess which palette I'm going to use? You want to guess? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you five seconds. You want to guess? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the same one that I always use because it's my baby. And I'm in a really weird mood today, apparently. But oh well. <laughs> Is it weird that I still don't know the names to all these colors? Like, I have to, like, look at the names still. Because the only one I know is Urban because it's the purple. The rest of the colors, I still have no idea what their names are. Even though I open this palette literally almost every day. So props to me. So we're going to take Urban and a pencil brush from Morph Brushes, the M431 brush. To take the purple, and we're going to put it in the crease. And taking a fluffy blending brush, this one is the Spa Essentials one. It's just called the Eyeshadow Blender. Uh, we're going to blend the color out. Um, and for this look, almost try and blend it up a little bit. Like, you want this to be, like, pretty much at your brow bone because of what we're going to do in a little bit. You guys will see. Um, then taking the Dome Shadow Brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to take more of the purple and I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I'm going to bring it down the eye, like down to the edge of the eye. Oh my god. I'm going to bring it down to the edge of the eye. And then also bring it underneath a little bit. About a quarter of the way, I think, underneath. I just kind of go around the shape a little bit with it too, so it ends up kind of making like a point, I guess, kind of like a cat eye effect sort of thingy going on at the end. Then taking this kind of domed, I think it's called a crease brush or crease blending brush from MUA. I thought this brush had a number. I could have sworn it had a number, but I can't find it anymore, so maybe it didn't. Maybe I'm just crazy. Who knows? And we're going to take um, Chaos here, this blue. We're going to take Chaos and just kind of trace the line of your crease. I just fucked up. <laughs> chaos tends to fall a lot, like it doesn't, it's like literally the most beautiful blue color anyone could ask for in an eyeshadow, but it's such shitty quality. <laughs> um, so we're going to put the blue there. And take the blue down here as well on the purple. And even take a tiny little bit and just put it right there. Then after we clean off the brush, I'm just going to take it and kind of blend chaos into urban. Now with this look, I've done this with lots of different colors, you honestly can do it with like pretty much any different colors, but this color that you put in the crease here, 
when I look straight on at you, you should be kind of able, I mean, depending on your eye shape, like, this is not going to work for all eye shapes. It works for mine because I have quite big eyes. But if you had quite small eyes, I definitely would not put a dark color in the crease like I have because it'll make your eyes look really, really small. And it's generally not what you want when you want or when you have small eyes. But if you have eyes more like mine, especially if they're quite hooded, um, then when I look straight on at you, you should basically be able to still see the blue, but it shouldn't overtake the other color. And I mean, it doesn't have to be perfectly blended or anything like that. Like, these colors blend, like, fairly nicely together, so it's not that big a deal. I'm just gonna go back with my domed brush and take a tiny little bit of Urban and just run it over the edge here, just so... The purple kind of stands out a tiny bit more. Again, taking my whatever this brush is, <laughs> I'm going to take fringe right here. The brush fell out and attacks me. I'm going to take fringe and go about the one third of my eye. So about to the edge of my uh, iris. The corner highlight and the rest of the under eye, we're going to take Thrash, which is this bright green color. Bright ye yellowy green color. I'm not really sure what color it is, but it's like a yellowy green. So I'm going to put Thrash in the corner and then um, blend it in with the tube as well. It's kind of cool because you get like a middle color because you put the teal or the green on the teal and it makes kind of like a green color and then you end up having like a light green, a green, and the teal and then those purple. <laughs> then I'm just going to take a flat brush and Revolt which is the shimmery color and I'm going to put that all over my lids. I'm just going to put a thin layer of this because it's not like the best glitter in the world for like all over the lid. <laughs> So after that I'm also going to go in with the Sephora Double Reflect in Iridescent Shell, which is just basically another sparkly shadow, but it shows up a lot better. After you have successfully gotten glitter everywhere, this is what the eye like eyeshadow will look like. And next I'm going to do eyeliner. I'm just going to do black because it's the easiest, so I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Oh my gosh. I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in the blackest black. And then to apply that, I'm going to use the Pointed Liner 92 brush from Sephora. It's kind of gross, I apologize. <laughs> Then I'm going to take this black matte eyeshadow in black lace from Sephora and a flat little brush to set this in place. Then taking my Avon eyeliner in black U01, I'm just going to put this in my upper and lower waterline. Then I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply two coats of the Supersizer Mascara from CoverGirl in black, uh, two on the bottom and one on the top. Now we're just going to move on to eyebrows now that the eyes are all done. So I'm going to do the brows with Chaos, which is the blue color, because it doesn't make as great an eyeshadow, but it makes a hella awesome eyebrow color. So I'm just going to quickly comb through my brows. Then I'm going to take a white eyeliner and run this through them. Then after I did that and set them with a white eyeshadow, I'm going to take my brow filler brush in 100 from Sephora and Chaos and fill them in. This is if 
finished eye makeup at slash eyebrow makeup from far away. On the lips, I'm going to use this new Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick in the shade Echo, which is this kind of nice... It looks like a navy blue, but it kind of looks like there's purple in it as well. Guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you do, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you think or if you have any ideas for other makeup you'd like me to see or like me to try and do or if you have a specific like product or like lipstick or something you'd like me to use in a video and make a look based upon it just leave me a comment I will totally try and do that to the best of my abilities but that's about it for this video I will hopefully see you guys in my next one which will be very very soon bye I'd also like to give a special shout out to one of my biggest fans, Zach.